friends. This is Eli from SUV Outdoor Explorer. Today we are going cabin camping at Possum Kingdom Lake Park in Caddo, Texas. Going through the town of Mineral Wells. So I'm here at Possum Kingdom State Park. I will be checking in momentarily and then I'll get the key to my cabin and then we'll have fun. Folks, I am at beautiful Possum Kingdom Lake Park in Cato, Texas. I have just uh, arrived at my cabin. I will be spending a few days in here for our rest and relaxation. You can see my SUV there. I just pulled alongside the cabin. Uh, I have unloaded. I wanted to get that done before I started filming. And I've got all the stuff inside the cabin. And um, I'm gonna be going into the cabin and kind of give you a real quick look of what it looks like. Now this cabin has seen better days, as you can tell from the door. You can use a paint job, but you know, it's clean, it's solid, it's painted. Uh, if it wasn't for the door, it really looks pretty nice. Okay, I'm walking right in. And here's the view from the front door. We'll start on this side. There's, this cabin has two beds. Here's one. And I already made the bed to make sure that it didn't look too messy when I started filming. And then the second bed next to it, I'm using it as a closet because unfortunately Although I have stayed in cabins that do have closets, this one does not. So I'm going to be using the second bed here as sort of a, a place to put all my clothes and everything that I can't find any room for. So in essence, this is going to be like my closet. One nice thing about this cabin that I didn't have in my last one last year where I stayed at Cooper Lake Park is that it has a fireplace and you can see the fireplace right here so in the winter time you know it's another way to warm yourself up there is a table i've got it full of stuff right now but this would be like the table where you would eat your food four chairs and the kitchen has a fridge it does have a microwave oven it's got a sink and it's got a stove and, I believe, an oven. Imagine that. I didn't even know that until I opened that thing up. So I'm gonna walk into the bathroom right now. Oh, by the way, here is the uh, AC unit and the heater. Here is the restroom. In this cabin, you have to bring your own stuff in terms of towels and bed linens and pillows and stuff like that. And uh, you can see here, here's the faucet. It's got a tiny mirror. And here's the shower. Looks pretty clean. There's a toilet. It's got a little uh, waste basket. And that's it, folks. It's a very simple cabin. I will tell you that the last one I stayed uh, last year uh, was a little bit an upgrade from this however it did cost um, another $50 per night so you know you get what you pay for so folks I'm going for a 
for a walk. I'm going to uh, get close to the lake. Looks nice from a distance. I want to get close to it. So this is my first time visiting uh, Possum Kingdom Lake Park. Last year when I started my channel, SUV Outdoor Explorer, I wanted to visit as many state parks in Texas as possible, but uh, I had to change my plans because uh, some things came up. I wasn't able to uh, visit too many. I think I only made it to two or three. And this year I'm gonna try to make up for that. And this is still February, so it's winter time. But um, the temperature is nice. When I got here, it was uh, about 78. It's sunny. It did rain this morning, but it's sunny. It had been breezy and windy all day, but but now it quiet down. So right now it's uh, 4.40 p.m. here in Cato, Texas. The weather is beautiful. I'm getting real close to the lake. And this is a beautiful lake, by the way. I mean, one of the nicest lakes I've seen in a while. give you a quick view there's a boat speeding by I'm gonna see if I can walk pretty close to the water and I'm right next to the water And here is a fish cleaning station. I'm heading down to uh, the boat dock area where you can rent kayaks and canoes and paddle boats, I believe. And I'm looking for a place where I can fish off because I don't have a boat. So there's supposed to be a fishing pier. And I don't know if it's still here or if they have removed it. boats that you can rent and go out there and do a little fishing well folks guess what I get here and it says no fishing no swimming no jumping no diving from top so so much for that I'll have to find another place to fish from but this is the marina or the boat dock for those people who come here with their own boats. And that in the background would be the end of the lake from one end. It's a basketball court here.
I stopped because there were some deer grazing in the background. I tried to get close to them, but they <laughs> they ran away. They're gone. So I've walked for about an hour. Now I'm heading back to my cabin. Rest a little bit. Well, good morning, folks. It's um, Thursday morning. I just made myself a nice little breakfast. Toast and uh, scrambled eggs and fruits. I'm getting ready to eat. Kind of looks like a work of art, if you ask me. And here is breakfast. Five minutes later. I was a little hungry, I guess. So I'm heading to the hiking trail. Should be a minute or two away. I think I see some signs already. It's a beautiful morning, but cold. It's in the temperatures in the low 50s, but there's a very cold breeze blowing and uh, gets into your bones. So I'm wearing uh, layers, so. Uh, I should be okay. I plan to walk maybe two miles and then come back home and uh, see what the plan is for the rest of the day. As you can see, uh, pretty much bundled up. Okay, let's go to the sign up, up ahead and see where the hiking trail starts because supposed to be moderate nothing nothing out of this world that I can't handle and this here is the swimming area not a very large area but good enough so when it's in the 90s and the hundreds you can come here and uh, go for a swim And again, the swimming area is also located right where the day camping area is. And I'll give you a view from, from the opposite end. Here are all the cover sites. I mean, this is a very, very nice area to come in for a half a day or a day and go swimming and stay in one of these sites, these covered sites, they have a bench table table thing and they have a grill. So here are the hiking areas, hiking trails, and they have a trail that's kind of challenging actually two trails that are kind of challenging and then they have one trail which is a mile and a quarter I believe uh, which is considered moderate which is the one I'm going to try to do this morning and uh, let's get started It's really a beautiful day, just cold, but you can see blue sky, the sun is out. And um, now that I've hit the trail, it uh, doesn't feel as cold because I'm covered on both sides by all these trees. So I don't feel the wind as much, which is good.
So folks, I am at the uh, entrance to the hiking trail. There are two trails. One is called, called uh, Longhorn Trail, which is the one that's uh, challenging. And then there's uh, another trail, which is 1.37 miles, which is called Lake View Trail, which is the one I'm gonna get on. On the other side of the park, there's another, a third trail called uh, Chaparral Ridge Trail, which is about a half a mile. That one is also challenging. Uh, I'm not gonna try that one. I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna have the time. So let's go to Lakeview Trail. We're starting to climb a little bit. But nothing too strenuous or difficult. We can handle it. I believe right up ahead there's a sign that says hiking trail. area where you can go around go to the right and go around or go to the left and go around the opposite way so I think I'm gonna go to the left and come back the other way and do it in reverse that's me it's nice over here is flat and even not very challenging very nice to walk on I don't see a soul anywhere. <laughs> I guess everybody's inside their RVs warming up. But uh, the temperature is supposed to climb up to the mid 60s later on in the afternoon. So it'll be a little more comfortable. But I didn't want to wait till the afternoon to take my morning walk. I try to walk from three to five miles, three to four times a week. And today I'll probably just get maybe one and a half, unless I go around this trail twice, which is quite possible. I may do that just to get at least three miles or close to three miles. I understand there was a big fire here a few years back. I don't exactly remember what year, but this park has been trying to recover from that fire ever since. And you can still see signs that, that there was a big fire, a forest fire. Folks, I have come across an intersection here where there was a fork in the trail. To the left is a hiking trail and to the right is the scenic overlook. And, you know, like Yogi Berra said, if you find a fork on the road, take it. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go to the right. Folks, right now I'm going through an area where there are a lot of uh, cactus plants, cacti on both sides of the trail. 
pretty nice looking, pretty neat. It's 11 o'clock. It does not look like the temperature has gone up much. It doesn't feel too bad. Not sure if we're going to hit the upper 60s this afternoon, like they said, but we'll see what happens. Well, folks, at the last minute, I decided to try the Longhorn Trail, which is the challenging trail. I don't know what possessed me to do that. I just kind of wanted to look at it and see what it was all about. And um, I guess curiosity. Curiosity got the best of me. And I'm walking very slowly because it is challenging probably hard for you to tell on this video because videos don't do any justice to hiking trails because you got this inclines and these uphills and downhills and you can't really tell that from watching the video whether you're going up or down but uh, I am not sure how long I'm going to stay on this trail. It's only less than a half mile, so I don't know, I may finish the whole thing. We'll see how it goes. side of the lake this is the area for primitive camping and I see some of the sites are reserved I'm looking at number nine and number eight and I saw number 10 in the back right next to the lake to the water for those people who like primitive camping Roughing it out because there's no uh, water or electricity or anything, just uh, from what I can see, just a table and a lamp post. <laughs> 